everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to dry flowers using a microwave. There are several different techniques that can be used to dry flowers, like pressing them in books or using silica gel, but today I'm going to be showing you one of the easiest and fastest ways to dry flowers. Keep in mind that all flowers do dry differently, and all of these methods work differently depending on the flower. I've pressed so many flowers and books and been so disappointed when they come out all wrinkled and shriveled, so it's really a case of trial and error. So before we get into the video, let's go pick some flowers. I do bring a small notebook with me when I go pick flowers and this is to store the flowers safely so that they don't get damaged before I'm able to bring them home and put them in the microwave. So while I was doing some research on how to dry flowers, I came across a flower press that I came this close to buying, but my mom stopped me and she was like, why are you going to buy a flower press when you can just use paper towels and a plate? So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. I have my paper towels here and I'm just moving all of the pressed flowers from my notebook onto the paper towels. You can also separate your flowers and put them in the microwave individually since all flower types do react differently. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be putting all of the flowers onto this paper towel and microwaving them all together so we see how the different flowers react. I put everything that I picked onto this one paper towel and here's how everything looks all together. I'm just going to be folding this other paper towel on top of it, placing it onto a plate and then placing another plate on top. And I'm putting it in the microwave for 30 seconds. You should always microwave your flowers at intervals of 30 seconds. Check on it the first time and if you feel like it needs another round, then you can put it in for another 30 seconds. Once I take it out of the microwave and lift that plate, you can immediately see all of the moisture that the paper towel has absorbed. And here's what the flowers look like. Now would be a good time to pick out some of the flowers that have dried enough, but we are doing an experiment here, so I decided to put everything back for another 30 seconds to see how they would react. You can definitely see that there is more moisture on the paper towel than there was last time, and here are the flowers. Some flowers and leaves handle it better than others, like these leaves for example look burnt on the edges and I usually press leaves like this in books, I think that's the best way that they dry. These pink flowers as well as the small white flowers have turned brown so they would have been good to take out after that first 30 second interval from the microwave. Whereas on the other hand, the yellow flowers are completely fine. So again, you really do learn by experience what works for some flowers and what doesn't. For comparison, here are some flowers that have been pressed in books for a few weeks. I also want to do a video soon where we compare the three different techniques of drying flowers using a microwave, books, and silica gel. So let me know if you guys would be interested in a video like that. In my next video, I'll be making something out of the flowers that we just picked and dried, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment, follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and also my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art. Bye!